Hello folks, today I'm talking about God and whether he gives a fuck about what you do or not. Uh, I got inspiration for this video from certain animations published by Jehovah's Witnesses worldwide. I've seen those videos in English and in my native Finnish and I was enraged. Enraged I tell you. In these videos um, I'll take one example. There's a kid um, being glad that he got a cool new toy from one of his friends. It's a warrior mage toy and he asks his mom if he could go to watch movie about that character with his friends. Well, of course, mother is like, what well, magic? Hey kid, do you think, who do you think likes magic? God or Satan? The kid thinks it's Satan and they trust it toy and never talk about it again. And his mother goes claiming that because of that act, God is proud of him. Yeah, you heard me right. God would be proud of him. That's bullshit. That's that's some serious bullshit. Okay. Uh let's take the gospels for in, for instance. If we take the biblical view if whether God gives a fuck about what you do or not. It, gospels go directly like if you accept the mercy it doesn't really matter what you do. That's it. No strings attached. You can go perfor perform druidistic rituals if you want to. As long as you keep in your heart that they are just part of ancient history, not some set of beliefs that would deny the mercy of Jesus. So that's what Bible has to say about this. Well, let's see what common sense has to tell us. It says that it's even worse. Piece of gob shit. Yeah. Who do you think... Um, what is magic? Who do you think invented... Uh, term of magic no one specific I can tell you the number of religions that have the term term of magic and it is a religious concept yes it is when a person performs a so-called miracle wielding power of his faith to make something unnatural happen. Well, if we take the religion out of context, it's just something unnatural. Uh, you can make happen. That's magic. That's basically science. Well, 
you can say abortion is unnatural. Well, Doctor Who performs the operation. He's a wizard by this definition. Um, with that definition, Gandhi was a wizard as well. Because no one should be able to fast as long as he did and remain alive. So, he's a wizard as well. Was. Um, if you can manipulate people into doing what you want against their will, is that unnatural? Is that wizardry? Is that magic? Uh, is everything about physics and chemistry magic? No, it's not. So, if we go back to original, miraculous sense of magic, strip everything out of it. Magic doesn't exist. It's just work of fiction. All miracles, all catastrophes world has ever faced have a logical explanation. You can Say it's God, it's science, it's nature, it's uh, mankind being complete assholes starting these wars and shit. But, you know, magic in its original meaning does not exist outside fiction. If I could see a man or woman um, levitating without help of any scientific method or any machinery. That is something I would call magic. Uh, or breathing fire without any tricks behind it. That I would call also magic. If he could create fire like this boom there's a ball of fire on my palm I will explode something with it that would be magic as well but everyone who can do these things levitation uh, create fire fire breath uh, creating fireball on his palm. There's a scientific method behind it. Always. It might might be a secret one. Uh, So-called magicians don't want to share it. Uh, that's that's cool. That's cool if you ask from me. But they are just. They are not magicians. They are tricksters. And tricksters. Well, they're cool. They're really cool if they do their stuff properly and keep their secrets safe. It's awesome. But it's not magic. Uh, for my non-believer friends and viewers out there, if we go back to the premise that God might approve of or disapprove of magic. Well, as far as I'm concerned, in my religion, magic is created, is given to prophets and priests of Lord to perform healing they may may or may not have really been able to do that but 
the concept of magic is really concept of healing. Early prophets and priests, uh, mages, they all performed some kind of ritualistic healing, which according to history has worked if they knew what they were doing. Just like modern day magicians, their tricks may succeed or they may not. Those famous and wealthy magicians are the ones who su succeed a lot. Those who don't, they are forgotten. So, what do you make of it? Would God really hate someone involved with the concept of magic? You can answer the, this question yourselves after hearing my argument. Uh, by uh, after listening to my arguments, you may be damn sure you know what I think about it. I think God would be proud to have even modern day people using his gifts for good. I I know I've heard a lot about Christian healers nowadays, but I don't believe in those. But aren't they are Christian? Why don't you believe in those? They are part of Christianity. No, they are part of certain movements of Christianity. If you ask from me, the last miracle workers were the founding fathers of our church. The eleven remaining apostles after Judas Iscariot hanged himself were all capable of those. Also, well in Finnish his name is translated uh, Bavali. Uh, I think in English Bible it's Paul. Uh, he was all one kind of missionary in early church and supposedly visited a number of times by angels and Jesus himself even once. Uh, he was also capable of those things and so, so were lots of other missionaries. But I have not heard of a mir Christian miracle worker ever since the founding days of Christianity. So, I think that God withdrew this power from the world slowly after Jesus disappeared. So, we were having still magic, but it weakened and weakened and weakened. There were no more use to it. And it would not have made any sense for God to let magic remain in this world. Because every miracle someone else did would make Jesus look like he was not the real deal after all. So, if you ask from me, Jesus was the greatest magician to live, and he was the real deal. Um, and folks are often asking me about why do I respect Jesus? Why do I respect him? I respect power. And according to my beliefs, Jesus had power that was not given to him by 
his affiliations. Unique. Maybe the affiliation the god, but no affiliations in the so-called mortal world. No affiliations here at all. He just wielded power to do anything he wanted to do. And he could have become God King if he wanted to, but he did what his old man asked anyway. But I serve Jesus Christ because he had real power. Uh, and this power, this magic, is the very essence of every saint, every angel in Christianity. Christianity is magic.